Sadiqan Ajisu Da'ifu, Miskeen and Zalim and Jahalim but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Uh, alhamdulillah we talked uh, a lot last week from the barakah of Sayyidina Uthman ibn Ahfan, Jamil Qur'an al-Majeed, the majestic and holy companion that represents the stations of knowledge. And alhamdulillah always a reminder for myself that unless we repeat these realities they don't really absorb, maybe sometimes they, they pass us unless we go back and look at the talks and that we wrote them, read them. And a reminder that in this world of malakut it explains and unifies everything. And the world of form by the nature of the world of form divides. And shaitan uses division to conquer people so that they stay within their firqa and different groups and separate. And a recap of that reality is that you can't reach any reality until Prophet because this is all from the realities of the Muhammadan reality. Means that an ishq and a love and sincerity has to be issued to a servant. That Allah sees the action even deeper is that Allah wrote these actions and sends and dispatches love to a servant, sees the sincerity within the servant and the amr and the command from Sayyidina Muhammad to the holy heart of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq as salam is what? Is that the kingdom wants to take this servant from the hands of shaitan. So it means that we have to be purchased out of the hands of shaitan before anything can open. So can you change the order of anything? No. Without the great Siddiq coming and taking your hand that Prophet has sent me to free you from the grip of Pharaoh and the satanic kingdoms of this earth and that the holy heavens want you. They will pay the ransom to free you and now you have… Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. have the support of the Divine and you have guidance when Allah is describing there is no guidance except for when Allah guides a servant. And this is what the level of guidance is talking about. That if you've accepted Islam, alhamdulillah this is a different level. But if Allah want to guide you not only will you accept Islam but you will take a path towards iman and faith. And from maqam al-iman that you'll be inspired to move to the presence of maqam al-ihsan and perfection. That's why you see many people enter Islam and many people leave Islam. They weren't purchased. Shaitan is fiercely after them. They want to stop drinking, they can't stop. They want to stop smoking, they can't stop. They want to stop the crowds they go with and the drugs they use and they can't because shaitan owns them. So congratulations you accepted Islam but I still own you. And they can't free themselves from the hands of that vice. 
and it requires the acts of sincerity that they come with all sincerity, they come and struggle against themselves and a command of true guidance, hadan Allah, tadilaw and hadan Allah. When Allah we don't understand truly the gift of guidance. We take it, well I got Islam, everybody got Islam, no they got Islam, maybe that's the Islam of intercession that they'll go back in the hands of shaitan and Allah will save them on judgment day. This level of Islam leads to maqam al-ihsan and guidance is an immense gift from Allah Now what will you do with it? That's when you owe your life to that reality because they're trying to explain that if Allah guiding you means He's bringing you to the holy hands of Sayyidina Muhammad to the holy hand of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq And the great Siddiq comes and dresses us, blesses us, inspires within us, be truthful to your covenant. You may lie about many things in life. Don't lie about your love to Sayyidina Muhammad don't play with that love. Your life and death is in the value of that love. Lie about many things in life because don't think you're going to be truthful because then shaitan will play with you and say, oh you told many lies, oh of course you're going to tell many lies. But the one lie you cannot make is the lie of your love for Sayyidina Muhammad be loyal to that love, have the respect and ishq and muhabbat of Sayyidina Muhammad and do what you do for that love. Then we live a life imitating this great Siddiq and we take a life of asking for support, a sense of humility. We have an asa that symbolizes, I'm asking for support. What greater support than the support of the great Siddiq? Siddiq al-Mutlaq and when that truly is within our character because people didn't truly understand that you can't bounce these khalifas. You can't say, why can't I take this one first and maybe this one came first or that one came first. No, it's in an eternal order based on perfecting you. If you don't go in this order you don't reach perfection. So all the great scholars were exactly this order. Don't listen to English conspiracies, they came exactly in this order. And as a result of this they reached to be Siddiq and Allah handed their hand to Sayyidina Umar Farooq And the Sayyidina Umar Farooq comes and says, okay if you're truthful now my Beloved brother has handed you over to me because it's a continuous movement with all of them. Now you're going to stand for the truth. Don't go to a park and talk about the truth and bother everybody in the park. Those are hypocrites and that's hypocrisy. Never argue and never involve yourself in a debate and you'll be safe. You'll be safe from Allah rendering you a hypocrite. You say that which you don't practice, you claim that which you're not. Means the only fight that Sayyidina Umar of Farooq comes and inspires a salam is what? Fight yourself man, fight the devil within yourself, stand for the truth within yourself. And at this level of these hikmah that's when they talk to outside ulama. You do, if you don't stand for truth inside what value is anything that you do outside? So you wash all day long, do you think you kill the devil? If the devil already inside you it's from the same hikmah because he comes and inspires. They're busy all day long making wudu, they think they're going to salah clean. But everybody has shaitan inside them. So what was clean in this wudu? 
what was clean in your ghusl, if shaitan is inside. So it means they washed because it's mandatory to wash but the real wash was inside, zikrullahi tatma'ina qulub. Your fight is inside, your wudu is inside, your devil is inside. The devil in you is calling the devil outside. So you see them go for jamarat, super exaggerated, right? What? They had a social media, he was spinning <laughs> through his rock, he, he threw everything with it, his shoes, his everybody, he sh sh threw everybody at the jamarat, I, thinking, you know, I really fought shaitan. Shaitan is inside, you don't have to throw so many hard rocks at jamarat. The real jamarat is inside, the real devil is hiding inside pressing all the right buttons. And that's why the immense guidance of tariqah, if you're not enrolled in a tariqah then what? What value your salah if shaitan is inside you? That's why all day long they can make du'a, nobody's saying ameen because the shaitan inside is contaminating the du'a. They can pray all they want, many, many rakah they're praying, the shaitan inside is the one praying with them. So all the external actions, what is the value is when the great Omar Farooq is coming and teaching. What's the value of all these things? All these actions, that's why if you go to Zahiri people and Zahiri, as Zahiri associations, everything looks great, you know, sit there, they go a very long time, everybody going up and down, long time, long time, but shaitan already inside, then they make du'a 30 minutes. For what? Shaitan inside already helping you with your du'a. What? Who's listening to that du'a when shaitan is inside? If no inner perfection, what the benefit for outside? So imagine du'a like a, like a smoke, like a bukhud, you want it to be fragrant and beautiful. As soon as you make du'a like a beautiful fragrance going up. But imagine shaitan, he's like a burnt tire. Back home have you smelled burnt tire? You can't breathe. Mm. <laughs> as soon as he sees your hand goes up, he sets his tire on fire right next to you. And this mm. horrific black smoke and <coughs> you can't breathe in it is going right up with your du'a. He's not letting your du'a go up, you're his captive. So 30 minutes. Go 40 minutes, go hour long in your du'a, well who cares, shaitan already ruining it. Making every bad breath and energy to come out of it. Some people they can merely breathe and knock you out from their energy, not from bad breath. The energy that's within their being means then Sayyidina Umar Farooq is coming and teaching because say to the truth. That falsehood is perishing. Jal Haq, he represents Ayatul Kareem. That in one of the realities, when Allah is giving this, this holy verse, it's in reference to Sayyidina Umar Farooq. That bring the truth, and the truth has to go after the falsehood. And the falsehood, Zahukan, has no, nothing to stand in his face. So bring your inner truth, your struggle is inside, never outside and you'll be tested. So then you see all these people with you know tariqah profiles, they get a little bit of argument and they threaten you, I'm gonna come beat you up. And they have our profile picture, they have Muhammadan Way uh, logo, they have some sort of tariqah logo. As soon as they interact with people in the community. They're saying, I want to come beat you up. What is this? <laughs> what kind of teaching is this? Immediately become belligerent, immediately become angry. I have the sword of Ali to get you. What are you talking about? You're a mentally disturbed individual. You have no sword, you have nothing. That sword of Imam Ali has to first take your head off. When you have no head, means you don't talk, you don't interact. 
you're not even anywhere to be found. Any identity you have on the internet is not yours, not your name. Anyone from any group ever confront you, you're soft and kind and gentle, right? You don't pass the lemon test. If a little bit agitated all sorts of craziness comes out, that's what Sayyidina Umar Farooq is teaching. No, you didn't even pass the first step and you didn't get your asa from Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq. You are not a truthful servant in your deed and actions. And no doubt you have this inner madness. Anyone who deals with someone like that block them on social media. Very simple, when somebody is belligerent and kooky and posting on your posts and commenting on your posts, block them because there's a lot of bird box going now. He said, the frequencies will change and people will become very mentally disturbed if they're already not disturbed. It's not getting better, it's getting worse because the anger level going up, the energy frequencies are going up and if the people are not cleaning and not cleaning themselves what happens? They give in to the madness and then these little tests come and you say, oh there's a lot of madness, a lot of madness. We deal on a, on a basis of many, many people. And you'd be shocked. Why? Because this is the great struggle, fight inside, never fight outside. Until you're at such a level of purity that you are a quiet, humble servant of Allah and always vigilant that your demon is waiting. If you give it a little bit of food, a little bit of ability to come out, it will never stop. And Sayyidina Umar Farooq is teaching, that is the fight. That is the greatest fight to fight yourself, to hold yourself and hold your tongue. And holding the tongue now, it means holding your fingers because don't type it. What you're about to type, do not type. Some people think that they didn't say anything and they start typing horrifically, bad, bad language. And they think that didn't count. No, it counted very much because Allah warned you, when we bring you to the heavens we're going to seal your mouth and your fingers will talk to us because this was a sign of the last days. Everyone's going to claim, oh I didn't say anything Shaykh but my fingers talked a lot. But Allah warned, I'm going to seal their mouths and their hands will all talk to me of what it said, what type of emojis it used, everything will count in this book. So means then the great Siddiq you can't pass and you can't pass Sayyidina Umar of Farooq which is a very specific name of that level of, of vigilance, the level of standing for truth salam. So means then you see how the progression of this came and how we're in need of all of their madad and support. And we said that, that Sayyidina Umar of Farooq as salam represents your siwak, why? Because this is like the asa for your heart. If Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq is the asa for your support that Nabi Musa needed to part the, the river to take from the world of ignorance into the Promised Land, then Sayyidina Umar of Farooq is teaching, then you need my asa for your heart. And that this dua is not for clean teeth, nifaqi fi qalbi wa shirka khafi. Is don't have hypocrisy and don't have a hidden shirk judging Allah's creation. And they go around these other madhab, judge everyone, judge everyone. Make talks on judging people. So then we judge and fight only ourselves. This becomes the key into the opening of the heart. And every action is to clean, right before salah to clean, before du'a to clean. Before you eat you clean, as soon as you wake up you clean. Why? So that this negative energy is not going into the mouth and then going into the heart. Then we reach to Sayyidina Uthman, Jami al-Qur'an in Majeed as salam which is ilm and knowledges. How could you get knowledge if you didn't pass? If you weren't freed from shaitan and that you fought your inner fight, how can Allah establish any type of knowledge like gold? Ilm, ilm al-aduni 
is like gold. How can you pour gold into a, a plastic cup or styrofoam cup? It can't contain it. So you won't be handed to Sayyidina Uthman salam until these characteristics are within you and your life instead of fighting in parks and debating and, and everything. Even when they get on the internet they make videos trying to wobble bust, yeah but they become belligerent and rude and they display characteristics that are not representing Sayyidina Muhammad and that's the danger of engaging in, in this type of activity. At that point they're inspired, their whole life is a qalam. My greatest weapon is the pen that I carry because with knowledges and when I write the knowledges of the heavens, when I write my shaykh's knowledges, when I'm continuously writing and taking a path to be like a noble angel, kiram al-katibin, why they're katibin? Because they're transcribing these realities of insan. They tell the story of life, what could be more noble than the haqqaiqs and, and the Muhammadan haqqaiqs. So it means their life is their qalam and as a result they carry Sayyidina Uthman in their heart with them. And every time they use their pen as if a voice entering within their soul and within their being. And these are the Divinely knowledges of Holy Qur'an because every knowledge is within Qur'an, not outside, nowhere else. Everything is like a fountain, the Qur'an, like an immense ocean of Allah's Rahmah. Everything from it is coming, every uloom, every knowledge, every reality, every science. Every other kitab comes from the ocean of Holy Qur'an, all of it from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad So Qaf, Lam, Meem this Qalam. Qaf Al-Qur'an Al-Majeed, Lam is the lisan Al-Haqq, Meem Muhammadun So it represents Prophet eternally within the paradises, in the realm of light. So by holding it in our hands in this life, we're carrying an immense reality of the heavens. And only after these knowledges dress the servant then what comes to us? The hand of Allah means the bayah is real. So people are saying, Shay, I took bayat online but some lady in a chat group told me, I don't have bayat. First of all who cares what a lady in a chat group told you? We don't follow ladies, we follow men and we follow shaykh. You shouldn't be in a chat group where the main person is a lady trying to teach you. Already you're, it's fasiq, it's out of Islamic belief systems. And when you have a shaykh you don't get yourself into a position where anyone's trying to teach you. You're already in danger. You have a shaykh teaching you, who's somebody else telling you what you're doing right and wrong? It's already a danger sign. Because one time they may hit your heart and you're walking on water all of a sudden you have shock, you have doubt, huh? What? Huh? And that's all shaitan wants is have doubt. So means what? We don't need these things. The bayat that you take is for your nafs because we're teaching you now what is bayat. Real bayat? Shaykh Nazim said, I have two students. Get maybe two million instead of two students, means I have really only two bayat. Everybody else you put your hand for tens and thousands, hundreds of thousands, we take bayat, inna la deenya yubayyunaka, yubayyunallah. It's not a bayat for you, this is the bayat. You got your asa from Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq you got your clearance from Sayyidina Umar Farooq This servant stands for truth, they've been tested. Every falsehood comes to them to see if they're going to change, or they're going to flip, or they're not going to be loyal. It's not something easy, it's a lifelong process with every type of temptation coming to you. 
change sides, be disloyal. Well then how was that standing for truth? Didn't they try to do that with Prophet Go to each of the companions say, oh what's this, what's that? And what was Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq's response? Samina wa ta'ana, if Prophet said it that's it, we live and die by that order. Because they were truthful in their deeds and actions. Now truthfulness is like a dust in the wind, will come and go. So anyone tells you, you have bayat, you have no bayat, this is a bayat of intercession. We're teaching you what true bayat is, real bayat when you don't have to request it, it's coming and being given to you. Means they got their asa, they have their siwak, it's real, it's empowered. They got their qalam and their uloom and their knowledges and Imam Ali Salam comes to them and says, this is a ring from heavens. Take my hand and Prophet's hand is upon that hand, Allah's hand is upon our hand, my hand is with you. Inna ladina yubayyunaka yubayyunullah. Right? From who? Ati Allah, Ati Rasul Ulul Am. Who's the Ulul Am that has to come to you? Not your shaykh, because the Amr is in Imam Ali's hands. He will appear to you. He carries the trust. So Imam Ali has to come, say, so, my hand on your hand that I represent all Ulul Amr because they got their Amr from my signature, right? So Naqshbandi Shaykh Imam al-Rabbani says, Wilayat only comes from Imam Ali he has to sign. So he's the king of Ulul Amr. Can any hand help you if not his hand? No because we're saying we want the hand of awliya, this is the awliya maker. Awliya maker has to come, not the awliya, the boss has to come because he's the one who has to sign. If anyone else put their hand it's imitation. Imam Ali has to come salam, and say, my hand on your hand, I'm validating you with the authority Allah has given to me and the ring that you have is a ring of power. Prophet's hand is upon your hand, Allah's hand is upon our hand and now you're activated. And as a result from Budal, Nujab, Nuqab, Awtad, Wal Akhyar, Jinni wa Malaika and uh, from the Kutub to the Qawth to all of the buddhala, all the awliya, they will give support to you. Wherever you are, you will be supported individual. This is a bayat, a real bayat. That's not something you ask for, that's something that comes to you at that stage. So if you put Imam Ali first, it won't work, you're not going to get anything. It's okay, he's a barakah, he love you but you're not going to get his hand. So you think you got that hand because you just put that first? Because he's looking down and said, my brothers didn't sign off on anything. They didn't give you righteous character, you're not freed from shaitan, you don't fight for the truth and stick and talk for the truth. You definitely don't have the knowledges of Qur'an, so what are you doing in my presence? Means I'm not going to activate for you. So means this order in which Allah gave to us is from malakut. You can switch in any way you want, doesn't mean anything. But can you reach to its realities? No. The reality comes in this order, is activated. So when the hand of power comes, you're ready, you've been ripened. It comes activates the individual and now that power, that light, that energy is dressing the servant. Khulafai Rashidin, al Mahdiin, wa Kamilin, what we say every time in our Jummah. That the Rashidin, Allah granted them irshad and guidance spiritually, eternally, not when they were only physical present. So means we need, that's why Ahlul Sunnah what we say in our Jummah, 
Khulafai Rashidin al Mahdiin. Rashidin means what? They all address them with irshad and guidance. They are guided Khalifas. Mahdiin, that they are the highest Muhammadan Hadis, guides. Wa Kamilin, and that they are Kamil. Why? They will perfect your character in this order. In real, for real guidance. We talked from the beginning about real guidance. Anybody can do anything they want because they have free will. They can pick this, do this, do that, this, but this is not the haqqaiq. This way the bayat now that been given and you have to call 1-800 bayat, you have to call this man for bayat, you have to call this person, for, that's okay, this is for your intercession. Real bayat is when Imam Ali salam appears. And says, now your hand is activated, our hand is with your hand. Your hand has power. And what we describe in our Naqshbandi awrad, Surah Mulk twice a day. And what the ending? Tabarak alladhi bi yadihi mulk. Why? Because Ali, Imam Ali's hand is with you. Tabarak, you have immense blessing on your hands. Allah, because Surah Mulk means the Mulk of heaven wa Malakut, these two kingdoms, Tabarak alladhi bi yadihi mulk. Blessed be your hands, immensely blessed. Yeah, because Imam Ali's hand upon your hand, what the nut we're singing. That even if you have a thousand skins, nothing will help you unless this one hand reaches to your hand. So, all these nuts teach the same reality, we're not making it up. And Surah Yaseen, Subhan alladhi bi yadihi mulk. Allah Subhan, why glory? Allah giving Subhan to the hand that your hand has become. Why Surah Yaseen? Because it represents the heart of Prophet that very heart where Holy Qur'an is emanating from. And Allah saying, glory be to this hand that emanating from that reality and emanating all the realities of Holy Qur'an. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa <coughs> bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life. Our mobile food vans, we have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan.